Hello and welcome to another reading from the book In Heavenly Places, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled All We Possess Comes from God, August 2nd. But who am I and what is my people that we should be able to offer so willingly after this sort? For all things come of thee, and of thine own have we given thee. First Chronicles 29 verse 14 Those who live on this earth should unite with the heavenly host in ascribing all praise and glory to the Creator. No man has the least cause for boasting or self-exaltation. Constantly, God is laboring to make up man's deficiencies. Even repentance is brought about through the application of grace. The natural heart feels no need of repentance. The tears that fall from the eyes of man because of sorrow for his sinfulness and because of sympathy for other sinners start unbidden. They are as dew from the eyes that belong to God. The reformed life is but the better employment of a life that has been ransomed by the sacrifice of his Son, Jesus. No credit should we take to ourselves for anything that we may do. Faith, too, is the gift of God. Faith is the ascent of man's understanding to God's words that binds the heart to God's service. And whose is man's understanding if it be not God's? Whose the heart if it be not God's? To have faith is to render to God the intellect, the energy that we have received from him. Therefore, those who exercise faith do not themselves deserve any credit. Those who believe so firmly in a heavenly Father that they can trust him with unlimited confidence, those who by faith can reach beyond the grave to the eternal realities beyond, must pour forth to their Maker the confession, All things come of thee, and of thine own have we given thee. Heavenly bestowed capabilities should not be made to serve selfish ends. Every energy, every endowment is a talent that should contribute to God's glory by being used in His service. Let no one seek to exalt himself by talking of his deeds, extolling his abilities, displaying his knowledge, and cultivating self-conceit. Christ was never self-confident or conceited. He to whom God has entrusted unusual gifts should return to the Lord's storehouse that which he has received by freely giving to others the benefit of his blessings. Thus God will be honored and glorified. Thank you for listening today. Be sure to join me tomorrow for another reading from the book in heavenly places. God bless you.